and because I'm a physicist, um, uh, several years ago I decided to test out to see whether or not I could do the same thing. This is around uh, between 2006 and 2008. This is right at the uh, edge of the collapse there. And my model was able to, de to definitely show and deal with uh, the economic collapse that, had, that what, at that time was coming and the economic situation that exists today. So the channel is now up, it's working, it's now 720p. Uh, it, all the channels now are going to be HD. Uh, we're going to go back to the Byzantine and Antiquity Study Institute uh, channel and we're going to start working on uh, Adventures in the Library, that's uh, the words uh, um, series inside that uh, documentary series. So we're going to have a series inside of this series. Uh, and then uh, based on uh, what I saw from Nova, I was watching uh, uh, Nova online la last night. I'm getting my, uh, my IPTV back working again. Every once in a while things change up and uh, things disappear for a little bit and they have to be reworked on again and refurbished. Uh, th that's the way I always, when you're working on something that's refurbished or something that's brand new, it's never up 100% all the time, all the time, all the time. Usually you get things working for six, seven months and then if you want to change something up or something happens where, where, where things aren't exactly the way they were before, you have to sort of put it aside for a little bit and then rework it back into the systems. So I had basically, and this is my big problem with uh, IPTV, is that I like, because I'm watching a lot of documentaries, I like to keep a lot of things, including the kids shows that I, that I like to watch too. But that takes up a lot of hard drive space, and you start, I'm running out of, uh, I'm sort of topping out at 3 terabytes. So until I get another terabyte hard drive, another terabyte worth of uh, file space in there, uh, what had to come off was IPTV. IPTV, you can't be on there sort of on demand the way I had it before. It, it, it's now, uh, I'm working IPTV so that, oh, excuse me. These are sources that uh, I can watch online, but I can't save it, so if I want to go back to it later on. Anyway, I'm working on ways to do that too, so no worries. Um, uh, watching that series, watching the, the series of uh, about dreaming about dreams on PBS, from no that's with the Nova. See again, Nova has its, is the doc is a series of documents, a show. It has documentaries within it. Sometimes the documentaries are single documentaries. Sometimes there's there's a series or or, or, or a multi-volume series of uh, documentaries, in, you know, inside of the documentary Nova. So these are called these are nested documentaries. And as I said we've been reading, we've been looking at uh, Wide Awake at 3 a.m. This is for the dreams. We're going in, going into the physiology of dreams. Uh, I haven't done. I've done some work. I've actually been looking at the organic chemistry part of it, and I'm not quite done where 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 I can bring it forward. Uh, I do have a thing bookmarked, so I should have I should get back into uh, in our morning session of uh, dealing with uh, uh, sleep and dreams. Go getting into the physiology of sleep and dreams. This will be somewhat along the lines of uh, uh, of Nova's uh, what dreams are. But uh, I also watched uh, a, a show on astronomy last night, which was really good. It was, and it got, and it got me to thinking. Excuse me. It got me to thinking that uh, that while it was good, I think it was missing certain things. And this is kind of the way things are. You don't well. You look at somebody else's documentary. You take the points that you like and take the little ones that you don't like. And rather than just sort of sitting there, because you are now at the level you are at, and I'm, I'm at the uh, sort of the professor, the researcher level, uh, it's not sufficient simply to simply leave it at that. If you find something that you can do better, or maybe have a different perspective on, then you should get up and do it yourself. Normally you write a paper or so on and so forth, but as I said, because I'm turning the documentaries into uh, my videos, my doc the documentaries here, so... Uh, and I believe it's just, uh, just in case uh, I didn't say this, I'm turning my research papers into documentaries, 
uh, and now we're at the full 720p. What I decided to do is I'm going to take the standard uh, astronomy textbook, and I'm going to uh, I'm going to actually go through it uh, chapter by chapter, page by page, and I'm going to produce a, uh, a video documentary series out of it. I think that we can do uh, maybe one chapter. We'll see what happens. We could do one chapter, uh, an episode. In this case here, uh, this would give us just about 30. Uh, yeah, it will give us 39 episodes. So we'll do this book here, 39 episodes. Then, and so our astronomy document uh, that series will be based off of this. And we'll see how long it takes to get us to get that done. And I think this will add another series. And I think what we'll do is, is that uh, from this point here, that we will actually um, uh, film more book-based documentaries. Uh, and this is going to be a, a, uh, from here, and the way from from books actually, because it, 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 you always go back to, as a researcher, you always go back to books. You always go back to books as a reference or a guide to where you want to go next. It also, it, 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 because you learn so much, it's impossible to remember everything. And that means that you often have to go back to the book, just sort of as a reference, as a guide, to see what it says and how it approaches the particular problem. The problem is, as time changes and, and, and more is learned, uh, the quality of the book, the, uh, the content that's in, in the book changes. But it's also uh, a good idea that if you want to know where things were and how things progressed, to go back to the original source and find out good sources and deal with it from there. But, but, but you know, by, by having the sources laid out, you can see in sort of a sequential fashion, uh, how things actually change. So I, uh, I'm going to start with this book here for one particular reason. One, it's uh, by a, uh, a, late, a late astronomer named uh, uh, George O. Abel, and I will explain to you uh, in the next segment who he, and not in the next, yes, yeah, we'll see in the next segment. I will look him up more, more specifically. I know him. I know about him, but I can't remember the exact details, so I have to look it up. Uh, and uh, yeah, we'll do uh, this. Is this is that basically? Uh, it's uh, 1982. Yeah. So uh, this is what was called, I guess you would call it standard fare for 1982. And so we're going to take it from this perspective. And yeah, we're going to do our whole series based on this. So back to where we're going with that. And I said I've got this is my reading area here. It also doubles as my bedroom. My bed is to the right there. So yeah, uh, doing everything fine. Everything's going great. And uh, this is the end of uh, the first segment. We will see you after chemises because the chemises tonight and tomorrow morning. Uh, after chemises, we'll after after tonight's service, the vesper service. Um, I will talk to you, that will be sec the second segment, alright, see you in the second segment, bye. As day and nights morph into one another, we're left pondering why I'm up at, uh, still up at 7, uh, uh, actually, uh, 7.55 in the morning on, uh, is it, uh, yeah, Tuesday, August 28th, 2012. Yeah, it's gonna be one really long episode. Not a long episode, but the day it cover the day that the day the covers is gonna be one really long thing. Because I really have been sleeping properly. Uh, I'm getting ready to go to church right now. This is Uh This is the name date for anyone named Paniotti, uh, Paniota, Maria, Mary, all on those names. Uh, you know, all those names there like that. That's their name day. So, uh, boy. Going to church for that feast, and it's like it's like hanging out with friends and family and so on and so forth. And then 
when I come back, uh, I'm going to finish up filming and editing everything that was done over the weekend, so. <laughs> yeah, this is the way things go. Long, long hours. And in many cases, very little sleep. Alright, take it easy. Yeah, it's 16 hours and 40 minutes into the day. No, it's 18 hours and 40 minutes into the day of Tuesday, August 28, 2012. And it is Kimi Seas today. Today is the actual day of Kimi Seas. This is, means the, uh, see, when you look back at the original terms, the Greek, the, 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 the uh, a lot of the services and a lot of the church was written in, uh, it was written back in the, in the Greek, in the early Greek at that period in time, which was common to the area. And there wasn't so much a, a, a notion of death as it was called sleep. So kinesis is means to be asleep, to, to fall asleep. That's what kinesis is. And so kinesis is the falling asleep of uh, the mother of God. And uh, for the last two weeks we've had this uh, somewhat of a celebration, a feast. And uh, today is the actual day. So. If people who, who are wondering about uh, having Christmas all year round or having Christmas every so often, well, this is he it here again. This, this is where you can have a degree of Christmas uh, uh, right at the end of August. Uh, there's uh, two weeks there. So uh, if you have all the feasts of the church, of the early church, then you have just about every month you've got something to sort of uh, celebrate in terms of... Uh, being Christmas-like, so that's what it did uh, these last few, you know, these last few days, and then particularly last night and this morning. Uh, let's see, I left around uh, eight o'clock in the morning and got back just slightly. I think it was uh, so. It was, uh, yeah, eight, eight, eight hours into the day, or eight a.m. Got back around. Uh, 14 hours into the day, or 2 p.m., and got to, got about two, yeah, just about, no, four, it's about four, two to four hours, just about four hours worth of sleep, and now I'm up again, so, and I'm going to be starting my next segment of the day, it, that means uh, I will be actually ending this vlog around two, three o'clock in the morning. And I think you're gonna see a bit of a change uh, for this episode in this in the terms of the, for the for this episode, not the vlog, but for the episode. Is that, that because the way the hours are going just because this one episode ends doesn't necessarily mean that <laughs> that the uh, uh the, the day necessarily. I think that's how it's going to work. I really, is it, right now I'm in two minds about how things are going because my day is shifting. And a lot of days are morphing into each other, so there's a lot of things kind of sort out. But anyway, we'll figure it out. We'll see how that goes. I'll see you in the next segment. Alright, take it easy. Professor of what? Professor of physics. Free speech rules here at Democratic Earth.